is more at this point than I want to spend. So I'm and I'm concerned about putting it and voting on it. It is in here. It isn't black and white. We are approving it. And I'm, I have a lot of concerns about that. Well, at some point, if I could, Mr. Yeah, Chair, uh, if we built this road based on quality and value. Uh, everybody participated in that design process, from the citizens who are directly impacted, the trustees certainly participated. I don't know if I ever remember an infrastructure project where the trustees participated like this, where they're down to the type of landscaping, you know, and, and we all agreed on elements of this project that were important to have a quality project that would serve the community well for the next 50 to 100 years. Uh, this reconstruct will last at least 50, probably considerably longer. There will need to be some maintenance and there will be some overlays. But the basic street you're building now is here for 50, 75 plus years. And the bus pump outs, the parking clusters on the west side, the bioswales, the street lighting, uh, a lot of these elements are very important to the quality of this project and to it serving the motorist and the residents well for the next 50 plus years. So, you know, we did that. The two and a half million was a very preliminary cost estimate based really on a couple of line drawings of different concepts of what could be built there. And that was it. So all the rest of that design was done this summer as part of the preliminary design phase of the project, which is the way it's always done. Um, the, the designers, the engineers came back said, okay, this is the street you want, and this is the cost. In my opinion, the village designed the street the correct way. You decide what you need in there to make this work well. Be safe, be serviceable for motorists and residents on the long term. And then the designer gave you a cost estimate. That's what's going to cost to get the job done right. Now, the other way to design these things is give us a number right up front and say, my comfort level is I can only deal with so many zeros, so the project cannot cost more than blank. Provide a hard number, the designer will come back and give you what they can for that number. It might be a simple overlay. You know, that may be all they can do, but that's fine. You can mill it, overlay it, restrike it, and call it a day and leave it alone. I understood the purpose here was to do quality upgrade, provide a good piece of infrastructure for the community. So at some point, I think you need to decide whether you're going for value here or whether you want to go for the low price, the low upfront cost. I, li I don't like that characterization. I'd but that's the two it. options. No, only it's really two. not the two options. There's also a compromise where where you don't where you kind of have a budget at the beginning, and then you look at the things that you know you want with your community, and at the end you re you revisit comprehensively. You go, okay, now that we see it all and we had an actual budget, because we're not doing piecemeal, we have a whole budget. If we do want to bring it down, it's, let me just give you an analogy. It's like a budget meeting. We have some budget wrap up because right. because yes, we looked at everything going along, and yes, we wanted an extra police officer and this and that. And then when we get to the end, when we put it all together, if it's above the number we're willing to, to charge our taxpayers, if we're not comfortable with that as policymakers, we have control over budget. And so at that point, you said you can say at I'm not comfortable, even though we have everything we asked for, we might need to kind of trim it back. So it's a compromise. So I don't want to do black or white here. I'm just asking that we did, I feel you're right, we did get a good product with some compromise in there. However, it's too expensive in my view as a policy what is, what is, it may not be too expensive. Is that based on engineering estimates? Is that an opinion? Where did this come from suddenly? this project that we spent so many months designing that the public was so enamored with the last we got public the cost information of meeting is just suddenly September 9th. High. September 9th. It's been mm -hmm. 30 days. Right. And, and I've been asking to value engineer it ever since that date. So don't say that I just come out of nowhere. Please don't do no, that. Right. This is no skin off my nose. It's, it's I'll be gone in a week and a half. I'm just telling you this is late in the process to go back now and basically start over. It's so 30 Steve days. Is We've been at this. You've been at it for over a year. I've been here since the day before you tried to do the project. We've been at this thing for months. We've gone over every conceivable design element, and all of a sudden, we don't want to. I do want to have this conversation because um, 
you know, I remember Trustee Mensa saying from day one in the in the brainstorming process is, is this okay that we're brainstorming about elements when we don't have a hard and firm number because I can see this creeping and expanding. And, um, so I think our intention was always to come back to make sure that what we're approving is comfortable with our long range plan and if we approve this, then we do have to adjust, you know, if we approve 3.9 million or 4 million, we do have to adjust the long range plan. There's no doubt about that. So. I don't know. Um, I don't know how we can have this have a thorough discussion about this tonight. But I do want to make sure that we, you know, put the brakes on and make sure we're all on the same page. You know, so if you can make a note, or if it's the next time that the engineering, I know it's hard to do it with engineering. It's more of a board budget discussion. Well, I would suggest the board do it as a committee of the whole. Yeah. Because the board of the group has to make the decision. Mm -hmm. And we will have to consult with the designers, uh, probably have them at least take some of these cost estimates and try to break them down more by component. Some of them are, the entry treatment is broken out, so you could eliminate that. That gives you a number. Uh, the street lighting, I, I think that was broken out. If you want to take the street lighting out of the project. The landscaping is broken out, that's separate. Yeah. So you don't cut that out of the budget. Yeah. And that'll give you an idea of what the uh, what the costs well, are going to be for we that stuff. We don't have to approve another four hundred thousand dollars in the sewer fund. We, you know, we can take that out and not approve that tonight. Well, that's a staff update. It's what the project is currently budgeted. Now, if you want to tell me, don't list four hundred thousand dollars of work that we're going to do in six months in the budget. You can lower the. Quite rate honest, rate. I mean. Yeah. Just from my from my perspective, it's a it's a budget based on current status and, and it's subject to change up until the board approves construction contracts. So I'm happy with any number if it makes if it makes a difference in perception to put a number in there that doesn't reflect current estimates and the body wants to advise staff to do that. Mark, it doesn't impact the outcome of that, which is going through the process that gets you to a contract design and approving approving construction work. So, so um, my question is, I just I have a different understanding of the budget. My my if the budget lists, so say we the four hundred thousand came out of um, you know if it was just a move over into sewer. So say you had three point one in you know you lowered it three point one and then four you kept the four hundred and two thousand in sewer. So you're still keeping that three point five. My understanding is you'd have to amend the budget at some point if you wanted to increase the funding for a project like that. Is that not true? I don't I just know well, there are yeah, some have to there are some increase. constraints on that that we would want to look at. Again, in this particular case, I acknowledge that I did not itemize it in the original detail. Um, my thought process at the time is it wasn't coming from sewer funds yeah. and for presentation. I'm just asking, that's what I want to understand, yeah. because to me, I've always been taught that budget is your policy document. And, and President Johnson, if this project is not going to be a mill and overlay, no. it's not. And if it's going to be a reconstruction of the road, these, this sewer work's going to be done. So the 400000 in the sewer has got to be in our budget right now. And we just, we'll, we'll just lower the other part to 3.1. Well, we I have a professional estimate in hand. Yeah, yeah, the first thing you need to do is decide what you want to do with the road. And, and quite frankly, and, and I was being a little bit facetious earlier, but that's one of the options. And this road, and, you know, I've been on interstate design projects that didn't generate anywhere near the consternation that this project has generated. Uh, for six months, we've been at this, and we've been at this, and, and we don't seem to be able to get anywhere. You know, for months, we were responding to resident suggestions, to trustee requests. We were value engineering as we went along, trying to put this stuff together and use, you know, the more affordable options to get these things done. And now that we're all we're done with that, it's too expensive. Well, 
Well, that means we got to start over, go back through the entire project and all the components. And I don't know if you have a number, it would be helpful if there was a number we could use that we could work toward. Uh, but, uh, you know, that is one of the options is to fall back now, do an overlay on the thing, uh, restripe it, it'll look like a new road, it'll be a few hundred grand, maybe 700 grand, and leave it alone and maybe try this again in a few years if, you know, the community lends itself for the decision making. No one's suggesting that. I didn't okay. interpret it as what we need to do. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, you know, you should make a decision on this before you adopt your budget. This was to be your premier infrastructure project for 2018. Uh, we have adjusted the long-range plan, as you saw earlier, with a number of important priorities and projects. Uh, we put into that plan for the out years to allow this to happen in 18, and for other projects that kick in starting at 19. And there's a lot of money in there for alleys money for street resurfacing, there's a lot of money for the relief sewer program in the south and southeast quadrant of the village. So we need to decide to do this in 18, otherwise we're going to throw the whole plan back a year going forward, and if we can't get it done then, it's going to have to be pushed back to 19, and the whole long-range plan is going to get altered. So we got two we got two numbers, and we got the three million five hundred in Street to Wilson, and we got the 400,000. Yeah. Those are two numbers in the budget. They're based on preliminary engineering estimates. So but our long range plan still has 2.5. Correct. Okay. And that's, I think, what the. I'm trying to get focused on what we I need know. to get accomplished tonight and get the budget. Yeah, we got to finish our, our budget. Our levy yeah. presentation. I will have public works get with the design consultants, try to break these cost numbers down. Uh, I, you know, they have all the source documents that they prepared mm -hmm. these estimates from. Try to break it down more by individual components so you could tell what it would take to cut out one bus bump out, let there be mm -hmm. bus, you know, a bus traffic in, in the driving lane at that location. You can tell exactly what the cost of those things will be. And then if you want to design, you know, if you want to go back to some preconceived number, then you could adjust back to that. We still need to get a budget here. Sure. Yeah. Well, we need to finish our budget yeah, workshop we for tonight. Right. Yeah, let's, let's. But you're not adopting until the 20th of November, right. Right. so you've this got some time. Number. And I don't know, we'll talk about all When does that be published? Thursday. Thursday. Yeah, well, the proposed budget can be published. That's just a That's legal a, notice that advises right. the community. Right. right. Of this the number, number. It's a bonding right on Thursday. Right. And then that would leave you time on or around the 6th, bring the consultants back in. I would suggest a full separate you know, a full trustee workshop to take the whole project, re dissect it, go over it again. That's obviously only a question. So, just, do we, I just, I, I understand what you're saying. Do we um, need to, how, like, to move forward, as, right. right? Do we need to adjust that down to 3.1 then? I mean, do that tonight? Do I just make that suggestion? No. No, you need to leave the budget based on the project budget for tonight. And then have your workshop, and then if you want to cut this back, then you amend, you know, the proposed budget so will be amended then, prior to adoption. Okay. But I think you should do that. Yeah, that's what I said. Right, and adopt it prior to adoption. Because we're spending money on design fees on a road that apparently there's great concern as to whether we should build the road that's been designed. So if we're not going to build it, that's foolish to spend that money. So let's drop back and start back into phase one. Planning again, see if we can come up with a. Uh, I don't think we're going to do what you want to do, and then we yeah, can go forward. Right. All right, let's move on to the budget ray up and start <laughs> some of these um, issues. The other stuff. Well, I've summarized lines 23 through whatever. Um, 40. Um, I don't necessarily have precise context for some of these, but they made it onto my list, so they are now on everyone's list. So the first item on line 23 was to contemplate, uh, in some respect, adding funds to the Village Board budget for additional team building facilitation. The number that I've got jotted down will be about 4,000 additional in funding for that effort. Uh, 
discussion to ensue. And I thought there was also some discussion that this part of that is edge conference money for it's on the education money. Again, that's on budget page 36 is what my notes say. Uh, I would imagine that would be incorporated into the village board educate professional education budget. Um, the line item is really not as important as the context. Uh, three thousand. Where's my three thousand? And that's the board. So if it wasn't used, Mark, for um, teaching building then it would just be additional that we could use to do conferences, correct? Well, we would itemize the line item for, for team building in the detailed budget, and then, of course, it goes up. you know, um, if alternative uses are made for that, that's, it's not true. you know, the way that works. Any comments on, let's see, some more possible change? Is that correct? That, that would be correct if 